we have a problem. This might be my favorite bagger yet. I flew to California to ride what may be the top selling Harley of 2022. The Low Rider ST. 100 pounds lighter than its top selling big sisters, the Street and Road Glide. Being a smaller rider used to smaller bikes and still quite new to the bagger bug, there's just one problem when you ride a lowrider. Not giving you this bike back. <laughs> With a bunch of other YouTubers, we'd spend the day on the winding roads of California wine country, getting to know these sharks. But before we ride, let's cover some specs. The lowrider ST comes in gray and black. Just over $2,100. The mid-mount foot controls and being 100 pounds lighter than the road glide, I thought makes it a really good gateway bagger for someone that's used to standard bikes. It has the same engine as the Lowrider S, the 117 cubic inch engine. If you're like me, 1917 cc engine. So it's got a little more torque than the Road Glide and it's much lighter. And finally, we ride. Today is bagger day. My body was hurting at the end of yesterday, so I am ready for some wind deflection, hard cases, and a cush seat. So of the three baggers I've ridden, the Road King, the Road Glide, and the Street Glide, the Road Glide was my favorite. I just love the wind deflection, the fairings. So if it were lighter, it would be even be more enjoyable. And I think this may be exactly what I said I would love to have, a lighter road glide. But her two wheels had a good point. She said that because this doesn't have the features that the road glide has and the screen right here, it's almost more comparable to the road king. Ooh, these foot pegs are a little bit higher than on the glides and road king. When we took it to the highway, I felt what I'd literally never felt before on a bike. Not even on the Road King with the high windscreen. Oh my gosh, I can feel like no wind. I can barely hear it too. I don't feel nothing. Oh, it's got cruise control. Woo. I'm keeping this. <laughs> I'm not the only one thinking this. So you're the engineer for this bike, right? So this is your your bike, your baby, your design. You should put these in your pocket. Thank you. That'll probably fall out if I leave it there? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That was so fun. Oh my gosh. I love this, what you did with the seat. I noticed you did that uh, side case like a little shorter above the exhaust. That yeah. was nice. Yep. And uh, wind? I feel nothing. Isn't that amazing? Holy cow. I, not even, yeah. nowhere, not my shoulders, like not the top of my helmet, nothing. Yep. That's amazing. So what is, what does this do right here? The holes in the fairing? So these are, I guess, aero ducts, um, for lack of a better term, but they're more or less direct in the air. Uh-huh. Through CFD, you're basically, we controlled and iterated on trajectory and sizes of these ducts to create the ideal pocket. Uh huh. Air to travel on the road in. Oh, um, so this actually helps it deflect more wind. Is um, what you're saying? It's basically controlling the wind. Oh, okay. To provide the most pleasant experience. So oh, the pegs feel a little higher than on the other baggers. I like it though, because then I feel I'm not scared to like lean it. Yeah. In yeah. curves. Lean it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so fun. This might be my favorite bagger yet. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> She she called it. She told me she was like, "You're gonna like this one the most." Yes. Matt, I'm not giving you this bike back. <laughs> this is mine now. Were you guys listening to me? Yep, yep. You just sent it all to Brad. <laughs> You're like, listen, this is what Check. this is what Doodle wants. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so fun. So you're uh, you know looking to do a trip this year. We'll, we'll, we can ship you one. Oh my gosh, are you serious? You're the best. We want we want people to you know showcase having fun on motorcycles. Like yeah. That's what it is. We have a problem. Like, uh, this is this is dangerous. Like, I told myself I wouldn't get a bagger, though. I told myself I guess something could go off road, but I'm in love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cops.
We just spent all day riding it around California wine country and I had a great time. I am 5'3.75 inches tall. This is 720 pounds wet and I recently took a road glide, a street glide, and a road king on a road trip. At my size, it was a bit of a struggle. It's not impossible. I do have some tricks that I do for it, which I show in a video I'll link to down below. But with this low rider, it was so much easier to handle. Felt like the pegs were a little bit higher, which to me, used to riding in the canyons on standard bikes, that felt a little more at home. And it also made me more comfortable to try leaning in the twisties. Not that you can't lean in twisties on a road or street glide, I know plenty of people do it, but this, I just felt like it'd be okay. Maybe because of the pegs or because it was lighter, I don't know. And I just felt like this leaned so nicely in the curves we did today. Matt Laidlaw was recording just before me and he said that he's gotten more requests than any other bike at his dealership so far. So if you want to see any other bagger reviews, click this link over here.